So look at the question. A sum of 16,800 is divided into two parts. One part is lent at the simple interest of 6% per annum and the other at 8% per annum. After two years, the total received is 19,000. What is the sum lent at 6% of simple interest? So basically, we have got an amount of 16,800 which has been divided into two parts. Right? It's a P1 and P2. So can I say P1 plus P2 is equal to 16,800? Yes. Then one part is lent at 6% per annum. Let's assume P1 is lent at 6% per annum and the other part is lent at 8% per annum. P2 is lent at 8% per annum of simple interest. Right? He's talking about simple interest here. So we know the rates of interest on each of the uh, principal amount there. Then after two years, the total received is 19,000. What is the sum lent at 6% of simple interest? Now what is lent at 6% of simple interest? P1. So basically our interest here is P1 is equal to what? Right? From P1 and P2, we need to find out what is P1. Now we already have one equation in terms of P1 and P2. What is that? P1 plus P2 equals to 16,800. This is equation number one. What will be equation number two? See, simple. P1 has got 6% per annum interest. So in two years, how much do you get? 12%. So what will be the total amount that we get from P1? 1 12% of P1. Yes or no? You know this uh, concept of calculating simple interest, right? 6% in one year. So in two years, will be 12%. We already have P1, on that we earn 12%. So P1 plus 12% of P1 will make it 112% of P1. Right? Principal 100% is there, we have got extra 12%. So that makes it 112%. Similarly, P2 was lent at 8% per annum for 2 years. 8% per annum for 2 years would give us 16% returns. So we have P2, which is 100% of P2, and 16% is our earning. So 100 plus 16 makes it 116. 116% of P2. This total has come out to be 19,000 here. Equation number two. Two equations and two variables solve and get the answer. Why does it take so much time? Now, could be because of the calculation here, but then you'll have to do it. So P1 plus P2 equals to 16,800 is one equation. 112% of P1 plus 116% of P2 equals to 19,000 is the other equation. Now, since we are interested in finding out what is P1 here, right, we have to find out what is the sum lent at 6% of uh, simple interest, right? So since we are interested in that, we can say P2 equals to 16,800 minus P1 and put that in this place and get the new equation. Yeah, you're getting it. Right, I mean, you solve the two equations. I'm sure solving the two equations is not my job. You can do it yourself to get the required answer.